Welcome to Yoga with Yuko. Today, we are going to throw to balancing our legs, balancing our thighs, lot of pose. We come into the pose and we favor either outer thigh or inner thigh. Lot of thing I see is usually feet are facing outside or inside. So if facing, toes are facing out, you are not using outer thigh much. If the inside, you using outer thigh, not much of inner thigh. Focus on your thigh and use both side in the inside and out. We use both to stabilize your leg, balancing toes to keep your body more functional. You can safely practice yoga so you can continue yoga practice. Anyways, we focus on your our thigh, inside and out, and whole leg. Start with just coming to standing pose and just shake your leg hip side to side, so just loosen up your spine. We sit all day, our pelvis, our back get tight. So just loosen up from there. And get coming into sitting, so standing posture, knees facing forward, legs up hip, hip west, and inhale to extend it right up to the sky. So lift your right side over to the cage. And exhale gently, bend your spine to the right, left, and left hand go down on your left leg. Inhale, open hard. Exhale, ground your right foot, left hand go down. Two more, inhale, open chest. Exhale, left hand go down. Two one more. Exhale, left hand go down. And inhale, slowly straightening whole body. Right hand down and extending left arm up. Inhale, lacing whole left side. Exhale, gently bend to the right. Inhale, open chest. Exhale, slide your right hand on the leg. Inhale, open chest, ground your feet. Exhale, go, right hand goes down. Two more, inhale chest. Exhale, right hand go down. Do one more, lift your rib cage up. And stay here for exhale. And inhale to slowly straightening spine. Be gentle to your back. And exhale, arms up and stepping right, left, right foot back for warrior one. And just full inhale, dancing spine. And exhale, ground your left foot and look down on your left feet. Make sure knees and toes are facing forward. At least you should be able to see big toe, or you may see all five toes. That's okay, but. Toes should be right under your knee and see how you feel your thigh. Just do it. How you feel on the thigh. If you keep your toes in center, you can feel outer inner thigh bows. And let's together inhale, straightening both legs. Exhale, bend right knee. Inhale, straightening leg. Exhale, bend. Make sure knees facing forward. Inhale, straight. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straight. Exhale, bend. One more, inhale, straight right leg. Exhale, bend your right knee. And keep your right foot grounded. Inhale, lift your heart center. And open up. Exhale, reach back with thumbs. And inhale, heart center a little higher. Exhale, reach back with thumbs. One more, inhale, ground your right foot. And relaxing, exhale. And full, inhale, I guess forward, straightening spine. Exhale, stepping left foot forward. Full, inhale, lift your hands. Exhale, stepping left foot back for warrior one, other side. Again, check on your right foot. Can you see toe or toes right under your knee? And square left side of the hip. And adjust your left foot accordingly. And full, inhale, lengthening spine. Exhale, settle into your left foot. So make sure you're grounding all five toes. And inhale, straightening left leg, right leg, exhale, bend. Inhale, straightening right leg, exhale, bend. Inhale, straight, exhale, bend. Inhale, straight, exhale, bend. Two more, inhale, straight, exhale, bend. Last one, inhale, straight, exhale, bend. Full, inhale, open arm wider, open chest. Exhale, reach back with thumb just a little bit. And inhale, lift your heart center. Exhale, relax and reach a little farther back. Inhale, go around your right foot. Exhale to reach back with thumb. One more inhale. Exhale, slowly bring your hands to the floor. Then stepping left foot forward and keep your feet about hip width. Your toes and knees facing forward. And I'm going to use block to keep your head and chest same high. But if you don't have a block, go ahead and bring your hands to the floor. 
and start with bring your buttock right above your heel and right hand right under your nose and soften right knee and inhale open left arm to twist the full inhale open chest and exhale go around your left leg so you can feel outside of your left leg all the way inhale exhale ground your whole left foot all five toe and center of the heel the inhale lacing core exhale ground your left foot the inhale exhale ground your left foot two more inhale exhale twist two one more inhale twist and go ahead and bring your right leg under the waist and i'm gonna continue to use block and stepping right foot back to coming into low lunge and we are going to twist but we're going to keep your left hand on the bottom so keep your hip square so we are going to twist but the hip does not move so you can engage your legs a little bit more and inhale to ground your right hand a little bit exhale twist your spine to the left inhale push your buttocks forward exhale twist your spine to the chest inhale lengthening spine exhale ground your left foot and twist. And inhale, exhale, ground your left foot and twist. Do one more inhale, keep your left foot grounded and twist. And inhale, coming back to center, both hands on the floor, straightening left leg for pyramid pose. But if you like, keep your right heel up. And inhale, move your hips to back away from left foot. Exhale, relax your stomach, relax neck. Another inhale, exhale, relax. Another inhale, exhale, relax. And slow, full inhale. Exhale, soften left knee. Walk your hands forward and stepping right foot forward. We are moving on the other side. Toes are facing forward, knees are facing forward. Feet about hip width. And talk about broke hand if you need to. And again, bring your buttocks right up over your heels. And this time, soften left knee, left hand right under your nose. And inhale to ground your right foot. And exhale, twist your right. Inhale, ground your right foot. Exhale, twist your spine. Inhale, ground your right foot. Exhale, twist. Then inhale, lazy spine. Exhale, ground your right foot and twist. Stay for three more breaths. Exhale, twist. Twist your spine, inhale, lengthening spine. Exhale, ground your right foot and twist. Do one more inhale, lift chest. And exhale, bring your right hand to the waist. And I'm gonna keep going to the use block and step the left foot back for other side. Again, bring your buttock to the right hand, to the right buttock, so keep hip square. Inhale, to lengthening core. And exhale, twist your spine to the right. And inhale, lengthening core. Exhale, twist. Keep your hips stabilized. Inhale, lengthening spine. Exhale, twist your spine. Inhale, lengthening whole spine all the way to the neck. Exhale, twist your spine. Just the spine. Two more inhale. Exhale, twist. One more inhale. Stay with right foot. Right foot. And exhale, both hands to the floor. If you have a broke, get, get rid of the block. Move into pyramid pose. And inhale to move right hip away from foot. Exhale, relax your spine, relax your head. Inhale, lengthening right hamstring. Exhale, relax whole body. Then inhale, lengthening right hamstring. So you can keep your knees soft, just stay with hamstring. Exhale, relax. And two more inhale, lengthening right hamstring. And relaxing, exhale. Stay here for full inhale. Exhale, soften right knee. Walk your hands forward and stepping left foot forward. It feels good. Draw the half circle with both hands to loosen up your back. And keep your knees soft. Next inhale, roll your spine up. For mountain pose. So how's your legs feel? It's kind of even, inside and out? I hope so, uh, mine do. This is my 
legs feel stronger. So it's winter time, we are sitting a lot, standing up and move your leg back and forth, side to side, to keep your leg functional. I hope you enjoy throwing with me. And if you like, uh, subscribe my YouTube channel, or you can come see me on a Zoom class. I think it's down there. Anyway, thank you so much for staying with me. Have a wonderful day. Have a functional day. Thank you so much.